Wow. What is, what's emo mean again? Uh, emotional, like. Oh. Yeah. You know, I was gonna say, one look at me, do you think that I know Blink-182? Also, Eric, I'm mean, okay, emo, so it's like written in the stars. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, you heard it first, right here. Hello, South Haven, we're looking at a windy and now wet South Beach, some showers starting to move in. These winds started early today, kicking up those big waves. The piers are not a safe place to be, and that's gonna be the case through tomorrow, likely even into Thursday, because the wind's gonna continue pushing those waves cascading right over the piers there. In fact, the winds and the waves are gonna get a lot bigger during the day tomorrow. 30 mile per hour gusts so far today in South Haven. Look at Battle Creek with a 36 mile per hour gust tomorrow. You better watch out for that Herbie Kirby. It could end up in the neighbor's yard because we could have gusts in the neighborhood of 40 to 50 miles per hour. Strongest, I think, close to the lake shore there. But again, big wind is going to be bringing in some of those big changes. It's going to start with rain. It's going to end up with some much cooler air. Let's talk rain first, hour by hour, starting at the current time. Notice our temperatures here. They're relatively mild for this time of night, this time of day. We're still in the mid to upper 60s. 69, for example, in Kalamazoo. And as we run our clock forward to midnight, you see this first wave of rain starts to move up to around I-69, moving up to the north-northeast here. But there'll be more, in fact, tomorrow morning for that commute. For the bus stop, it looks like we're going to be dealing with some showers, but our temperatures will be mild. You know, earlier this week, remember, we were in the 30s or over the weekend, low 30s, but we're going to be in the mid to upper 50s for lows. And more showers coming through here on Wednesday and then tomorrow evening. This is when we could even have some thunderstorms. This is going to be right along with the cold air that's going to be moving in that will set the tone for chilly air Thursday, Friday, Saturday, right into Sunday. Let's look live in downtown Kalamazoo. It's raining right now in Kalamazoo. This is our Peregrine Tower camera right now looking live over Bronson Park where the showers are now just starting to come down here. So that's getting the street wet there. Live Doppler radar shows it to you as well. As we put this into motion, we're going to zoom in a little bit and you see those showers just a couple of hours ago. We were just watching them move in. Now they're here. And as I showed you a little bit earlier, they're going to be here for a little while. Temperatures low 60s along the lakeshore, a bit cool in South Haven, Benton Harbor, Niles, but inland you get those mid to upper 60s. Look at that rain, a little bit heavier right now in Three Rivers and Sturgis. That's why it's a little bit cooler. So the outlook for tonight, we're going to be in the mid to upper 50s for an overnight low, breezy and wet. That's relatively mild for this time of year to be sure. Tomorrow, showers, windy and wet with late day thunderstorms possible. A high of 68 degrees. Bottom falls out of the temperatures on our Sealy Auto Group 7 day forecast. As we hit the weekend, and it's going to be cooler. Looks like we could be dodging some showers for the Western game on Saturday. It's going to be a little bit cool. And next week, highs only in the upper 40s.